After the insane amount of support on the last Dark Souls video, I've decided that today we are going to return to Dark Souls. Alright, so the last time we left off, I just got my sword, I just got my shield, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. We rested up at this buff. Oh yeah, that's right. This is locked by some contraption, so... I think we need to find another way in there. I don't know if maybe we have to come back here like even later in the game to try to kill this guy, but okay, I'm trying to remember where we left off. So we just talked to that one guy and got our Estes flasks along with the upper asylum key. So we're going to try it on this door up here because I couldn't get through it before with the other asylum key. So hopefully this one works. I'm not sure if I'm going to play any of this game off camera. I might just keep it so that I only play the game on camera so you guys can kind of have this little journey with me. I'm not really sure. I, I mean, if I do play off camera... I might consider starting up another save, but then again, that might kind of ruin the experience of it being a blind playthrough, so I'm not really sure yet. Shield right, weapon two-handed. <gasps> there's two-handed weapons in this game? Ooh, I bet there's some gnarly freaking, like, strength builds with that. Resting at a bonfire revives enemy. Oh, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> that kind of explains why enemies just kept spawning every time I tried to just heal up real quick. Okay, so... After the last part, I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of the whole timing-based combat. I mean... I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a master or anything yet. I mean, I'm literally just fighting, like, these lifeless zombies that only swing once every, like, 30 seconds. I'm not too familiar with the other bosses in the game, but, you know, I've seen some things. RB while falling for a plunging attack. Okay, good. To, I mean, I don't, I don't really know when that would be useful. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be much instances where you, like, fall in this game because the fall damage that you take anytime you even fall, like, two feet... Is ridiculous. RB behind an enemy for a critical hit, and then you can parry. I am terrible at parrying, and, uh, uh, it, no, no, you look too scary. You know what? I mean, I'll give it a shot. Is that, oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna try to parry. First parry? Oh my god! I did it first shot. That is surprising. I'm usually terrible at freaking parrying in video games. Well, bam! Oh, what? You blocked it, you little dick. Come on, stop! Oh my god, I'm not gonna die already. Okay, now we gotta use our SS flask real quick. Dude, it is crazy how small that health bar is. You get hit like once or twice and you are dead. Reverse the white light. Okay, please. Where are we going into now? Uh, we're... Hello. So it seems like now is the time. Oh my god, he didn't. Okay, he that that I he was not gonna let me chill up there. All right, let's go ahead and try that one more time. We're gonna go back up the stairs, go back out there, and hopefully this time actually successfully kill him. And I just realized that's one heck of a drop down there. I bet we can try to use this plunging attack and see if it's as OP as everybody tells me it is. Also, I received some very helpful comments on the last video, uh, specifically one of them from a guy named like Wheat Bagel. I think his username was. He told me some really helpful tips for the parts coming up in the game so thank you for that if you guys ever have any helpful tips usually i'd be against it but you know this is a blind playthrough of freaking dark soul did you guys see how much health he just lost from that oh my god all right this is my first dark souls boss oh my god dude i'm terrified right now oh no bam stab him in the butt it's time to die sound of demon oh wow, wow what's he dodging okay go is it better to do light attacks or strong attacks or does that just depend on the weapon or what <laughs> <laughs> I get so scared every time that it goes to attack. Even if it's, like, clearly gonna miss me, I get so scared. Dude, I am pro at this so far. Jeez, you see how these dodges? Get him in the butt. Get him in the butt. Get him in the butt. Come on. One more hit. No! Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't gonna be my downfall. This isn't going to be my downfall. I'm going to get you. Last hit, last hit. Come on, come on. Shake him! Is that it? Is that it? Did I... Oh, my God. I just beat my first Dark Souls boss. Good job. Go straight ahead. Sweet. Alright, I just took down an Asylum Demon with only getting hit like, what, once or twice? I think I'm ready to take on the rest of this game. An undead shot. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Fire Link Shrine. Uh, where do I go? Alright, well I have 2400 souls, so level up. Ooh, okay, Vitality. I'm gonna assume that's health, so we're gonna... Just do that real quick. Yep, sounds good to me. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna take a vitality to 13, put endurance up at 13 as well. Enter, confirm reinforcement. There we go. If I've learned anything so far. It's that blue glowy things are good. What's this? Humanity. No idea what any of that does yet. It's another human person. And he's like, hey, give me a copper coin. Covenant. Uh, sure. What? What did I just do? I learned how to shrug. How hard is Dark Souls so far? Thank you for the covenant business, sir. I'm gonna be on my way. I got a bunch of big dragons and birds and hairy monsters to defeat. Oh my god, did I just fall into a Minecraft dungeon? What's with all the chests? Pillage treasure chest. <gasps> Morningstar, talisman. Wait, 
A morning star? Is that a mace? Am I about to defeat a bunch of dragons with a fucking mace? Cracked red eye orb. I have no idea what that is. Ew, look at my god. He still looks like a raw sausage, dude. A homeward bone. No idea what that does either. And a Lord's Talisman. I'm gonna have to learn what all this does. So this is the graveyard that I guess Wheat Bagel was talking about. Uh, he said to look for about five items. He said I want to look for, what was it, three souls and like two weapons. So I'm just gonna go for it. Large soul of Lost Undead, that makes one of the souls. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> They're all coming to life. I can't do this. Okay, there's one of the weapons. Binoculars, what the, what is this? I'm not going sightseeing. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Why won't it let me dodge? Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. And I should take a metal vocal. So Y'all hear my false chords just like activate right there. A round shield. Oh, okay. He didn't mention a shield, but I guess there's that. Another lost soul of the undead. What, what are the souls of the undead? Is that something I have to use at the bond? Fire! Get away from me! Get away from me! I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. All right, I got about five items. I think that's everything that I needed to get here, or everything that was important at least. Uh, I'm just gonna run this way and hope that I don't fall off the edge. Well, at least when you die, you only lose souls and you don't like lose any equipment or items, because that would be a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong, dying is still a pain in the ass, but like it, it would be even worse if that was the case. Okay, so I literally just sat here for like ten minutes trying to Google what all the stuff I picked up does or means or whatever. Uh, so sorry if there was like a really long awkward cut um okay so souls i use to get more souls like the lost souls of the undead whatever i trade those in to get souls i also looked up the place that that guy was talking about to go to the dark place or whatever and i i, I googled it it said it's called like the new londo ruins or something like that but I've heard that's actually more of a late game area that I should not be going to just yet. So I'm not going to risk my life over it. I'm going to go towards the bridge next. Apparently I'm supposed to jump right over there and pick up that ring because it lets me keep my souls if I die. But I don't know if that's a one time use or if I can get it multiple times. So I'm just going to kind of keep it in my inventory and do some more research later to find out whether I should hold on to it or use it. All right. So to jump, I have to run and then click B as I'm doing the running animation. Okay, that was really clunky. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh my God, this is so spooky. I don't, I don't want to fall off the edge. It's a, it's a long way down. All right, so I just got the ring of sacrifice. I want to switch over to my other shield, see if that one's any better. Wait, uh, I don't think that one's better. I don't know. I don't know how to read these numbers yet. I don't know what any of that means. If I jump across or you just, oh, well, it doesn't matter if I jump across or not, you're still going to find ways to attack me. Bam, what? How, how did that not hit him? That totally connected. You cannot tell me it did not. You guys better be thankful for like editing being a thing. Uh, so far I've been recording for 42 minutes and I kid you not, I've literally just been running around looting things and dying over and over. Like it, it has been brutal. Wait, what? He didn't let me hit him, dude. Every time I try to swing, he kept getting stuck on the fucking wall. Uh, now I gotta trudge all the way back up. I'm a pro. See, so yeah, like I said, when I was looking, uh, it said going to the one spot, the new Londo ruins or whatever, they said that's a late game area I shouldn't go to. And then the catacombs also by the graveyard was another spot that I saw you shouldn't go to, which literally just leaves this, which <laughs> this doesn't look much safer. When am I going to like fight more bosses? So far, I've just kind of been like fighting these ad enemies, I'll call them, you know what I mean? Like the ones that are just kind of like there so you have something to fight something to do when's the next boss gonna be i mean don't get me wrong i'm not complaining i i'm totally fine with this you know I, I'm, not, I'm not in a rush or a hurry to fight any more bosses I, i'm just wondering when i should be prepared when i should prepare my heart I don't want to fight you. Dude, this is honestly getting low-key intense. I just had to run through all these fools, dude. They were trying to swarm me with, like, fire of these skeletons, zombie things. I ain't about this. Get away from me, man. I've heard this is the biggest pain in the ass when it comes to Dark Souls. Trudging all the way back after a very sad defeat. I wonder if there's any, like, real-life locations that Dark Souls is, like, based on. If so, I would low-key kind of want to travel there and see if there's any, like, remnants of it last, like, lost from history or whatever. Like, I feel like that'd be kind of cool to see. Is it possibly stupid to run past these guys? Yeah, but I'm just looking for the next bonfire. Because, I mean, let's face it. Like, even if I do kill these guys, there's a chance that by the time I get through all of them, my health is going to be so freaking low that it'll be pointless in the end anyway. So I'd rather just go to the bonfire since by the time I light it, they're all about to respawn anyway. Okay, so does resting, I guess lighting the bonfire saves your progress, but then when you actually rest at it, that's when all the enemies respawn, I believe. So right now we got about 1,000. 
I thought I died. <laughs> I thought I died. I was about to get so mad. Then I realized it was just my freaking guy sitting down. All right, we're definitely going to boost vitality up to uh, 14. Definitely get the health going. How this game's going so far, I expect that health bar to be taken up like my entire screen by the end of this game because otherwise I don't know how I'm going to get through it. Anyway, I've been recording for literally 57 minutes now, so I think this is a good place to call it quits. I'm not sure how much I'm even going to be able to leave in the video because most of it was literally just me getting my ass handed to me. Anyways, as always, a shout out to the patrons, Chromas, Fate, Grandma, and Liberty Tap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I see you guys back here tomorrow at 7. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Stay beautiful and have an amazing day. Peace.